Papa! Hello, my fellow YouTubians. My name is Elfblade, and today is going to be a quick vlog that I just want to discuss some things that I have personally found uh, this past week to be a little bit bothersome just because it's very time consuming. So, I've been doing a video once every day, and now I do two videos on Saturday. Now, Saturday was the exception because Comic Con was in town, and we'll get to Comic Con. We will get there, but we're just going to. Continue on this little path real quick. And um, I really want a day off. So like I work my full time job Monday through Friday and then I do videos every day and it is just way time intensive and way consuming. And I kind of just need one of like those break days where a day where I can just enjoy myself, not do anything, not worry about anything, just kind of just relax. You know what I mean? So I've decided to take Sunday as my relax day. Why? It's kind of partial because it's hard to get everything ready for the next week if I also have to make sure that I have a video ready on Sunday as well because it's very time consuming. Usually on Saturdays, I pull an all-nighter. I get a lot of recording done, which is really great for me. It just fits my schedule very well. However, just my Sunday is just drained. I don't get to really do a whole lot of stuff. Um, you know, I can't, I can't hang out with friends or go hang out with my wife. I mean, I can, but I have to do everything before the day. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I'm taking the time and just saying, oh, I'm not going to do anything. I'm taking the time slot and interjecting it into the previous day or previous days time slot so that I can get everything work so that Sunday kind of like squares up for me. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and stop the showcase channel Sunday for now, or at least this week. I still want to do it because I do find the value in it, but it's just really hard when it's just like I got all the stuff going on and then I got to get the videos going. So Sunday is going to be the day I take off. I'm thinking of moving the shout out channel series to a different day. I don't know what day yet. I haven't quite planned that all out, but this is what I would like to do. And I just want to convey this to you guys. And I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys don't get too mad at me, but I'm only human and I sometimes need a day off. So going on and or not so, but going back to what I was talking about earlier is Comic Con. As you will notice by now, I will have been posting some videos that I took, not videos, but pictures that I took over at Comic-Con with me. I actually brought my camera, the one that I uh, record with all the time, and dude, it was awesome. It was a way cool experience. I guess we'll just start from the beginning, and that is, is so my wife was a vendor in, in the artist alley, so she was on her artwork, it was on display and everything, and she, because uh, she was a vendor, she gets red badges. Uh, as you can see, I have mine right now. I did cut it off my wrist, because I mean, it was almost impossible to get off any other way. And it was funny because as I got there, it was like 9.30 when the convention was opening, and Dude, the line. I've never seen a line like this. So the convention is about two by two blocks wide, right? Maybe, maybe not that big. Maybe, yeah, it's actually bad, right? It's two by two blocks wide. And on an entrance on the south side. And the line went out the south side, down to the end of the block, up the north side, all the way two blocks down, and then about half a block, if not further, at least when I got there, down the west. That was a massive line. There easily would have had to have been like 20 thousand people just standing out there and all their cosplays and everything dude there were so awesome cosplays there too like they were way cool there was five nights at freddy's there was diablo 3 or any just any of the diablo stuff there was stuff from like disney pixar you saw your usual tar your star wars and your star trek uh what else did i see i saw metal gear solid i saw crash bandicoot and freaking zelda and mario and princess peach and yoshi and luigi all these things it was such an immersive experience and way cool because i got to walk around and just just soak it all in like I did it a little bit differently this year. Like usually you just kind of like walk around. I never brought a camera with me before. So usually I just walk around and check stuff out and that's it. And like I might notice, you know, oh, check out that cosplay. That's so cool. But I don't get to like take a picture of it and share that experience with anyone else, but other than just what I have in my head. So it was way cool. Like actually just like stopping people and talking to them and asking if, hey, can I take a picture? And then like doing a pose and stuff. It was so cool. It was just a way awesome experience. I wish you guys could have came there. Um, they also had things in there uh, like, they had like polls and they had celebrities there doing pictures and photo ops and everything. Um, I didn't really go around and see any of those guys. I mean, I can't really take a picture without paying for it. You know, I'd be like, ah, uh, you got to pay for that now. I'm breaking your camera. It's like, oh, God, no, I don't want my camera broken. It's my life. Just kidding. Anyways, so there was some way cool stuff. Uh, there was the people who did um, 
uh, like Lord of the Rings was there. People who did uh, like Nightmare on 13th Street was there. You know, there's a lot of local stuff going on. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, shops like for merchandise, like your T-shirts, your swords, your shields, your fan arts, your your wallets, your whatever. You name it, I bet you it was there. So it was just a way awesome experience. I wish you guys could have seen it. I know their media was there. They're taking their snapshots and their videos and stuff. That's the other thing, too. It's like it's like I'm walking around and, like, I'm not, like, just there as a consumer just to, like, buy stuff. I'm, like, walking around to, like, see the people there and everything and take the pictures and take the snapshots and i can see other people doing the same thing like it's just like a totally different perspective that i've had on this trip and it also made me realize you know and going back to the very beginning is that i just don't have a whole lot of time on the weekend especially when events like this come up it's like oh no i mean that consumed four hours of my day plus two hours of drive time that's six hours right there you know, that's six hours of my day that could have been recording, could have been editing, could have been uploading, could have been whatever, right? I mean, anything that could have been involved. So just way massive time consumption. So I'm taking Sundays off. I, again, I apologize, guys. I feel like that is the best day for my schedule and fits my needs the most. So I hope you guys aren't too mad. I promise. I'm sorry. I'll figure my crap out. But... In the meantime, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little quick little vlog. I know my vlogs usually aren't this exciting. Usually they're kind of boring. So I wanted to do something a little bit different this time. So go ahead and let me know in the comment below what you guys thought of this one this time around. Go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this vlog. Share this video and don't forget to subscribe to become an off camera today. Reverse Wapa!